Hey everyone, I completed a project and I want to quickly share it with you. I use these butterfly chipboard pieces. Um, I used a larger one. So let me quickly show you what I created. I created this photo butterfly stand. Um, I wanted to display my girls' school photos um, that they took this year. And I basically took two butterflies. And so there's one for each of the girls. So each girl gets a butterfly. I'm sorry, I'm not using my tripod. I want to be able to show you all the angles. And so let me quickly show you um, how I did that. And please bear with me, I'm only using one hand here. So I'm going to show it with a smaller one. So basically I cut it in half. And then I'm just going to go ahead and connect the butterfly together. And just make sure it's nice and lined up. And then I just tape it down with some regular scotch tape. Be sure to cover um, this complete line right here so it's nice and secured. And then just repeat the steps with the next two butterflies. And then once that's completed, be sure all the butterflies um, are lined up. Um, in this case, I might not be because I'm just using one hand. And then you're just going to um, tape this all down. So it kind of closes like a book. And then once that's all taped down, it will open up to this. So basically, um, what I did was, um, she had already pre-cut um, the papers for me. So all I had to do was just glue them down to the chipboard pieces. So I took four of the design papers. And then I edged each of the butterfly using this espresso jobber. And then Arlene had given me some of these journal tickets. And it was perfect because she had given me four, so one for each of my girls. And then I just add these um, dimensional stickers that were part of the collection. And then I added their initial. Um, these are the King Company chipboard pieces that Anna had given me. And I didn't really have to do too much as far as embellishing because the papers are so beautiful and so much detail on it and I didn't really want to cover it too much. And then I just did the same with this page. I actually glimmer missed this page with a garden fairy. And then I added some bling down here and then her initial and then this is like the photo is going to be right here and maybe I could put their grade that they were in right here. And then on this page, I did um, Maddie's a little bit different. I actually edged the whole butterfly with some fired brick distressing powder. And then just added a dimensional sticker and then her initial. And then a little flower. And then on here, I don't have their, um, my other two's photos. I should get it next week. So I'm doing the same thing. I'm um, here I added some bling. It was like half of a flower, so I added one on each every other petal. And then every time there's polka dots, I love to randomly put some glossy accents on the polka dot. And then same with this page. So what I did um, for the body of the butterfly, as you can see, each of the page has the body. Um, what I did was I just got some ribbon and I didn't measure it so I just basically um, went over the butterfly and then went under the butterfly and then I tied a double knot on top and then I left the ends of the ribbon um, oh, here it is, a little bit longer so they look like antennas and this is um, a double satin Martha Stewart ribbon so it just kind of sits up like that, you know, so it looks like an antenna. So I hope you give this a try. Um, this was a really fun project to make. This is, um, I'm going to put this in my scrap room. This is perfect, um, you know, for your room or maybe for your work desk. Or you can also um, give this as a gift. So thanks for watching. Bye.